Hi, I wanted to go over something that I did before about the wiper uh, control relays. Uh, let me scan out so you can see this. Like a viewer said, he wanted to take a snapshot. So, anyway, we were talking about uh, the different type of um, motors for the wipers and for the for the for the washer pumps. Basically, basically, the body control module, which is the computer for accessories will be responsible for one, two, three. Now, I have to zoom in a little. Now, one is for the rear, for the rear window. This is a SUV, Trailblazer. This is for the window for the washer fluid pump, okay? Now, in the rear also, you have a wiper pump. This is responsible for both. How? By giving this one a ground over here. And this one is controlling this one over here. If we have 12 volts over here, we have a ground over here. Now, that takes care of that pump, the rear. For the headlamp, there's also a pump, that we, a washer pump that we uh, talked about. This computer again, this BCM module again, gives a ground to this relay, which will close this switch, which will activate this headlamp a washer pump this one is decided by a different uh, um, module not the BCM so I guess the confusion was how it's controlled well you always need a 12 volt so you always need a, a control line or a, or a ground depending on the situation or the schematic it depends who gives you the ground or who gives you the 12 volts we have the 12 volts right up here we need the ground this module will give you the ground just like he gave the BCM gave them the ground, this one is going to give him the ground for the windshield washer fluid pump. Okay, now the, that's for the front window. For the front window, since it's a washer pump, you also need a wiper pump, wiper motor. That comes over here in this module that I spoke about before. Now, I don't want to go into detail on this video, I'm going to go into detail on another one, uh, how this operates. But first, we have to understand something from how it's how it works. Okay, the the diagram, the basic diagram from you can see from a textbook twenty years ago, twenty five years ago. The same theory applies. See, a washer pump needs twelve volts, as you can see, and it needs a ground. When you activate the switch for the washer pump to be activated, whether it's for the rear, whether it's for the front windshield. Here's the current flowing. This is from in, in accessories or run position. We're not talking about the start position. We're talking about the run position or accessories. Current flows. Now, we're going to go over this in a second. Current flows through here, through here, and then through the switch. And there you have your washer pump going to ground. Okay, fine. What about the wiper? The wiper has two kinds of brushes over here. In this one over here, you have a high mode. In this one over here, you have something called the low mode, CL, and you have high. And this one goes to ground. And you have a mechanism over here in the run position and in the park position, which is not going to get too technical, but first let's get into this position. We know about the washer pump. How do we make the wiper uh, pump go? We go through here. Now remember, you look at these switches over here. These switches over here are ganged together. So whatever this position, this switch, number two it will be in, number one will be in at the same time. For, let's take an example. If this is in a high switch, I put this in the high. Therefore, this one is in the high. If I put this in the low position, this one will be in the low position. If I put this in the off position, this will be in the off position. Right now, we are in a high position. That means he's in the high position, he's in the high position, together at the same time, simultaneously. However, you don't see any connection here. You don't see any wires, right? So he's out of the picture. He's in the picture, because there is a wire here. Current flows here, here, and to the high brush over here. Now we want the low speed. We go through here. Remember now, we switch the, the switch in the low position, okay? Put this in the low position, still no connection. He's out of the picture. In the low, he is in the picture. Now he's connected to this one. So current flows here, here, through this switch up here, and then 
to the lower speed over here. So this is high speed and lower speed motor. Now let's say you're in the off position. When you're in the off position, this switch over here, guess what? It's not connected to anything. However, look over here. He was out of the picture before for low and high. Now he's gonna come back into the picture. If he's in off position, what do we say? See the dotted line? He's in the off position. Okay. Since he's in the off position, that means somehow this can be activated. We can't go, we cannot go in this position, but we can always go to the washer. But in this position, this is an off position, we can't go this way. We have to go this way. So now, if you're in this run position over here for this one, making contact, let me go out. In the run position in this one, guess what? Which position are you on? In the off position. This is in the run position, making contact up here. You're in the off position, and guess what? You do have a choice of going in the low speed. So in this position, you have high speed and low speed. But this has a mechanism for it. has a special mechanism that you can have a run position, it's called. Uh, besides this, uh, uh, the brushes over here, uh, the, the, the commutator. So now it goes in here, goes over here, and goes over here. Okay? That's how these things work. So basically, high speed and low speed. And that's what I wanted to refer to when I was talking about the, the, this, this one over here. You have, a high, you have a high speed over here, and you have a low speed over here that we'll mention. And you have switches over here. Depending on the switch, this is the signal. If you, get, if you want a high, you get a high over here. Right, he, right here. This switch is in a high position. You see that? I select high, I'm in this position. So voltage is here, goes over here, a high position, and at the same time, there's a field over here, a coil that goes to this one also. And then the switches are activated. We'll go more to deal, detail in the next video. Uh, somebody asked me a question about these things. Remember, this is the control line for this one. That's it. This is the control line for this one, for the front one. This is for the rear. And the headlamp is this one. When you close the headlamp switch over here, this uh, uh, detects it, closes the, the relay, and boom, headlamp, uh, headlamp washer pump is activated. Now I want to go to a different type of, of video. It's going to be about shorts because I got a, quite a few comments about those, about uh, shorts, especially in series of circuits. I hope this helped. Like I said, I'm going to go over the switching part, the multifunction switch, and a different one. Um, but I have received many comments and many requests. I mean, that's good. That means the channel is starting to, to expand and to grow. That's a great thing. But I try to accommodate all the, the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching this one.